Hey y'all, and welcome to my channel, Oaks and Company. I'm so glad y'all are here today. As you can see, I have quite the mess going on. I have had a very, very busy week. Um, one of our friends passed away, so we had that and just out cleaning other people's homes. I had that, and um, to be quite transparent, I've been suffering from um, a little bit of depression and have just had a hard time getting myself up and motivated to clean my own home. Um, I've just had really, really low energy, so this is a very realistic clean with me. I did not um, fix my face. I did not dress up like I normally do. I don't dress up, but I didn't um, make sure I looked all cute and stuff. I just got to work, and it was very hard for me. I really had a hard time pushing through and getting it done, but I did, and I felt so much better when I finished. And so I just want to say that if you are struggling with some depression or anxiety, just do your best and try to do it a step at a time. That's what I was doing. I did the dishes and then of course you don't see me taking a break, but I like took a break and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go, you know, wipe the counters down. Okay, I'm gonna go sweep the floors. It just took me almost all day to do what you see me do because I was struggling so much. But like I said, once I got it done, it felt amazing and it really lifted my spirits quite a bit. dishes out of it, the smelly food, get the sink all cleaned, and it just was so refreshing, and I was so glad I had taken the time and put the energy into getting it done. If you see me in this clip, you can tell how tired I am. My poor hair looks so limp and tired also. <laughs> but you know, it's real life and I wasn't gonna um, show this of me and show me like really struggling, but um, I know in real life that everybody has, you know, down days and we, we can't always be made up and we, we don't always feel well enough to like put on certain clothes or you know fix our hair and you know day-to-day -day life can just be a struggle sometimes and so I thought well I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna share this so that you can see that I'm not always you know the most upbeat person and I struggle too I think that a lot of times um, when you're on YouTube people think that you have a perfect home and um, I think sometimes people are shocked if they come to my home and it's not like perfectly staged because I'm human and yes I do like my home a certain way but I do get down and I do struggle 
and my home suffers just like everybody else. So I just wanted to share that and share, you know, just keep moving forward and doing the best that you can. Show you the duster here in a minute when I get done but I need to move my sectional so bad and clean that window and clean behind the sectional I'm gonna have to have Matt help me move it though I mean that thing is heavy look at that look at all that dust y'all isn't that crazy um and I'm over there trying to put my pillows back and that fat sack of tater Samson the kitty cat he is not moving he's just laying there so I'm just kind of working around him. He is not earning his keep at all. He just is living here rent free and soaking it up. Anyway, he's such a spoiled brat. <laughs> softener and then was filling this up and realized that I had one or two laundry pods left and no scent beads and like two dryer sheets so I don't know what I was thinking but I'm gonna have to run back up to the store and get some stuff to do laundry with <laughs> I was struggling today but um, to get things done but I was gonna tell y'all it my bed is not made perfect you can tell the sheets are all lopsided I don't care I didn't care it's made it's done 
and that was the best I could do for that day. And I just thought I got an E for effort, <laughs> whether it was put together perfect or not. It was done and um, I was glad to have it done. It felt really good. But if y'all are wondering where the blue pillows and things, all my pretty pillows for my bed is, they're in the living room with the 4th of July decor. Because I did not want to buy new pillows to go in the living room when I already had like blue and white pillows that would match. So that's where all my pretty pillows are for my bed. <laughs> self-worth, insecurity, things that might um, suck the energy out of you and just make you feel like you cannot go on, please do not give up. Surround yourself, find, find some people to surround yourself with a group, a Celebrate Recovery group, a church group, or someone that can uplift you and help push you forward. Isaiah 43 and 2 says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned or scorched, nor will the flame kindle upon you. That is God's promise that He really get, does not give us more than we can bear. And I know sometimes that sounds crazy because things that we might be going through or we might feel hopeless and we think, Lord, I'm never going to make it through this. But if you surround yourself with people and um, look toward Him, you will always find your way. Always. There is just never going to be a question of it. Um, I have had some very, very low times in my life and cannot believe that I made it through. But I would not have done that without support and without the love of God. So I hope that that was an encouragement to you and that you will find someone or a group to connect with that will help you um, feel like that you can make it and that you can keep on keeping on. I thought I would do it a little bit different at the ending and just walk you through my whole house that I cleaned. Not the whole house, but most of the house. <laughs> um, and just show you room, from room, room to room what all I got done and the progress I made. And it made me feel so good. It lifted my spirits so much. It smelled good. It was clean. It was relaxing. And I was able to just sit down that evening with my husband and just chill out and have a good time and not look around at all the things that needed to be done. <laughs> Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if you like the more realistic clean. And um, next time will be a cooking video because, you know, I told you I was going to alternate from cooking and cleaning. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.